Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. I am just going and grabbing another palette. So this way I can make up a new palette for you guys for the fall. So let's check out what other fall colors we can use to make a fall palette. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take out a couple of colors that I think are fallish colors. Um, and let's see, we'll put that one. This is astute. astute. Let's see what other colors we can get into this palette. Hey, Rosie. I'm just trying to mix a color palette together. So this way we got another fall palette to work with since we used a fall palette yesterday. Why is this heavy? Okay, let me check out. We got Astute. Um, we'll go with this one, which is nonsensical. And we'll go with, let's see, I'm trying to get some really nice colors for the fall. Let's see, let's see, we're going to go with this one, which is oh, all over me that I just dropped. Sorry, Bacala. Oh, yeah, I changed it again today. <laughs> I changed it again today. Transcendent. And we'll go with, uh, we'll go with the uh, nimble. Yeah, I think those are good colors. Is this fervent or is this agile? Hold on. That's not sensical. I'd rather go with Agile, and that's Agile. Okay, I'll give you my, I'll send you my number in a little bit, Rosie Bacala. Why, were you trying to get a hold of me? Hey, Drago, hey, Bobby. I'm just mixing up a new full palette because we used the same palette yesterday, so I figured... Let's use and make ourselves a new palette today. So I am using the colors Nimble, right there. We're using the color Transcendent. We're using the color Agile and Credulous. I think that's credulous, right? The green is credulous. Let's just double check because I know. Oh, no. Inconceivable. And inconceivable. And I'm just doing this every day or every couple days. So this way, you know with our kudos this month that you can go and choose any colors that you want. And make any palette up that you want. So. Okay, get Jesse. Hey, Cosma. How are you, sweet thing? How are you, sweet thing? Let me move this and let me get this out of my face. La la. All right, we got this up. Our hair's all doop to -do, do It's wherever it's going to go right now is where it's going to go. I flipped it up. Oh, thank you. I've been wearing them for like two days now. For two days. So, 
let me just, while she's, while Rosie and everybody's getting people on here, let me go grab my coffee. It just brewed. So let me just throw some half and half in, and I'll be right back. <laughs> half and half. Half and half and half. He's being a scoocher, a scoocher, scoocher. He's being a scoocher. All right, so I got my coffee. We're all ready to go. I am so happy that we don't have to worry about Halloween. I am so happy that we don't have to worry about Halloween anymore. Even though it was fun. I gotta do a turkey look. Frank's like, yeah, to do a turkey look. I don't think so. I don't think so. So you didn't even let me do your Halloween. So shut up and go go watch your TV. We're gonna have to look like an Indian, like Pocahontas. We're gonna have to do a Pocahontas look. I'll make you do an Indian look on me. You couldn't look like an Indian. If I put the hair on, yes, I do. Where's my no, wig? No, you don't. And yes. you're not touching my wig. Yes, I do. You, you're ruining my wig. He's ruining my wig, wig girls. He's ruining my wig. So, I don't see anybody's comments. Is, did I, did I like, lose everybody or what? Did I freeze up? Somebody better do something. Let me know that I'm still live. Am I still live? Hello? Am I still live? Let me know if I am. If not, I got to start this thing all over again. Oh, okay. I was wondering. I'm like... Oh. Wow, that's hot coffee. That's hot coffee. So... Got this today. Can you see the price on that? Can you see the price on that? We went to a place today. We went, took a ride to a town called Carborough, North Carolina. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of it. It's near Chapel Hill, and it's a cute little like. It's not little. It's a, Well, it is a little. It's a cute little college town. I am live. Hi, Shannon. It's a cute little, like, college town. And they have, like, little coffee shops and bookstores. And, you know, then they have, like, these little teeny old, old, like, brick buildings that you walk in. And they made, like, all these different little stores, like a little mall type thing. So they had um, this one store, and of course, Diane had to go in. It was a makeup and skincare store. Hi, Miss Gail. It was a makeup and skincare store. And there was a girl in there doing somebody's makeup. So I said, oh, it's nice to see a makeup artist doing another makeup, you know, look. From one makeup artist to another. Awesome job, right? I'm telling her. And she's like, well, I'm not a makeup artist. She was a younger girl. She's like, I'm not a makeup artist. She goes, um, but, you know, I do my best. And I said, absolutely. So um, I was looking around. And let me tell you, they were flipping. First of all, everything over there, not just in the makeup store, everything was so expensive. They had like a store with like all little tchotchke jewelry, handmade jewelry. Like, I don't know if you just have them in your towns, but like if you go by the beach, you know, when you go to like those stores that, that are out by the beach or something, a real touristy area, they have like all those little tchotchke stores, right? And this was how it was. And all of them were so flipping 
adorable, but so expensive. So expensive. I was like, holy moly. They had this one, one of the stores was called Fireflies. So I'm going, oh my God, I can get stuff for my girls on my team. And I'm thinking, you know, it was going to be reasonably priced. And there was a little teeny chain, paper thin chain, with a little teeny firefly on it. Like it was designed, I guess, by a, you know, one of those designs, the local, you know, designers. And it was like made from like brass or something like that. But no joke, the foyer floor is probably like that big. You could barely see it. $79. I was like, oh, no, I don't think I belong in this store yet. When I'm a millionaire, then I can come in here. But while I was in the makeup store, I saw this. They had all testers. So I saw this, and I was like, oh, let's see, high-definition eyeliner. Well, at first of all, when I went to go open it, let me show you. This is like a sponge, okay? That's a sponge. And I'm like, oh, that's odd. It's got like the spongy part. And then I'm looking, I'm going, you can't pull it off there. But look how cute. You open it up, and you got this. And I'm saying to myself, well, how good can this stuff be? So I tried it on my hand very, very lightly. And it is super, super, like, I mean just like the best kind of makeup that's on the market right now pretty much um as far as you know professional makeup so i was like wow i gotta get it 20 bucks though what am i out of my god i had to get it though I had to get it so we're gonna use this tonight we'll use it tonight so like I said, with the kudos, you can make up your own palette like we've been doing for the last day or day and a half um, since it launched yesterday, the kudos. This was the beginning of my fall colors. This was my fall palette that I chose, okay? So we used Jealous, um, Fervent, uh, Lord help me. What's the name of it? Uh, uh, uh. And I'm, I am actually drawing a blank. Carol! Her birthday is not till tomorrow. Or am I wrong? Her birthday ain't till tomorrow. And you don't even know what I went through for her birthday. So this was the quad palette that I chose and I call it my autumn palette. So, I'm just showing you different palettes that you could put together. So, this is the palette I'm going to use tonight. And we are using the color Nimble, Transcendent, Agile, and Inconceivable. So, this is my full palette or another palette that you could choose. Mix, match, whatever you want to do. But I figured let's try working with these colors. I popped them in and... Oh, okay. I definitely early. Yes, you're definitely early because <laughs> I was going to say, if, if I'm off by a day, that's a little crazy because I could have sworn a birthday was tomorrow. <laughs> I could have sworn a birthday was tomorrow. Okay, so I'm taking out all of my fully looking things. Yeah, we'll take out that. We got all our browns out, our fall colors, good to go. So we're going to try and go a little bit, you know, lighter maybe. Hey, Teresa. Hi, Georgia. How are you? Hey, Jumpy Jumps. So the quad palette and the epic are both going to be the anniversary editions as well as the... As well as the purple makeup bag, okay? You're saving 20% off. You can choose any four colors you want. This was my fall palette that I, that I used yesterday. And I used, did I use it last night? Last night and today on my live, on Instagram and on my YouTube. And then I just made up another palette that I'm going to use tonight 
which like I said, I'm using nimble, transcendent, agile, and inconceivable. So these are the colors I'm gonna use, probably adding a little bit of black in just to make my eyes pop since it is a nighttime look. So let's get started, let's get started. Christine Bond is in the house, in the house, my Christine Bond. I even got my coffee. It's hot and it's brewed and it's yummy yum. So for $69, you're getting the Anniversary Edition Epic Mascara. Your quad palette with built-in primers on that eyeshadow. And you're getting that gorgeous purple makeup bag. Okay, seven years. We're, we're celebrating seven years with Unique. So why not get in on it? Try the kudos. See if you like it. Come and join my team. And uh, listen, start right now. Start right now. Because you know what? The longer you procrastinate, the longer you wait. Now, let me move this over. Okay, so first, let's go with our concealer and our primer. Then we'll work on our eyes. Um, I will say that Unique right now, I've been looking, and I, I will tell you this. I have been looking, and Unique is the number one the number one multi-level marketing company right now. We are worldwide with opening up in the Netherlands this week. So, you know, and, and I've said this before, and I'm not saying it in a bad way, but I will tell you this. No matter what company you work for, you're going to be, oh, you got to buy this product because it's the best in sliced bread. Well, I've been doing this a really long time, and... There are products that I love from Unique, and there's products that I don't love from Unique. There's products that I might like from MAC, um, Jaclyn Hill, you name it. You know, I don't just use Unique. But I will tell you this, I've never, ever, and I've tried pretty much every brand out there, and I'm not lying, I've probably tried every brand out there, and not one of their other makeup companies hold a candle to our eyeshadows. None of them. Every other one has fallout. A lot of them don't have squalane. A lot of them don't have, you know, a lot of them have the, um, what's the stuff that Georgia knows? Georgia, what is that stuff that you use to, the, to, to preserve the dead bodies? What is it called again? <laughs> I forgot what you call it. Diana Barrow! How are you, Diana? Good to see you here. So we just put on our formaldehyde. Thank you. Um, we just put on our Glorious Touch face primer, but the hydrating face primer. So if you are on the dry side or have dry patches, that's where you're going to want to put your hydrating face primer. I'll be using that the whole winter now because no matter whether you're living in Florida, it does get cold in Florida by Florida standards, right? Or it does get really cold up north. You know, Massachusetts, Maine, New York, Connecticut, you get in snow, you go in and there's heat. You go out and it's dry and cold. So your skin is just battling these, you know, these weather changes. And I always want to keep my face hydrated. No, Carol, you didn't miss anything. No, Carol. So I'm going to go in with my... What, Frankie? Yeah, Such a what flipping pain in the neck. Huh? No, it's a carol that you don't know. Who is it? It's a carol you don't know. Tell Carol. Tell Carol I don't know. It's Saturday. She won't know what you're talking about because it's not that carol. Okay, I'll see right now. Go on. Gondola. How's the gondola doing? How's the gondola doing? How's the gondola doing? Frankie wants me to tell you that it's Saturday, Carol. That's what he wants me to tell you. I love you, Carol. 
He wants me to tell you that it's Saturday. Like, that makes any difference in the world to us as women, right? And I love her. Oh, and he loves you. And Mike. And Mike. And the kids. And the kids. And the dog. Uh Uh-oh, am I frozen? Am I frozen? Oh, shamizel. Am I? Carol, am I freezing? Oh, you heard him? She heard you. Okay, I'm not frozen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe tonight, since it's Saturday night, Carol will stay the whole time. But no, Carol always leaves in the middle. She sneaks out the back door. Because it's Saturday night. But you break up. That's probably because I'm not using the real YouTube. That's probably why. I'll I'll pretty much guarantee you that's why. I'm breaking up on your side, Jessica. It's cutting in and out. Oh, Lord. Let me know if it gets any better. Let me know if it gets any better. I'm going in with my eye primer. Which I think I already did, but we'll do it again. Because I, I didn't even remember if I did. I'm putting it all over my lips. Girls, if you are just hopping on, welcome aboard the crazy train. <laughs> welcome aboard the aging train. The aging train, but not making it bother us, right? Not making it bother us. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I see everybody that subscribes. So, please subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, I would greatly appreciate it. So, yesterday, we were getting into the conversation about leading and about following. And um, we had a pretty interesting conversation going. Because I was mentioning about... People that are in internet marketing or own their own business. Oh, it looks horrible. Are you kidding me right now? Get out of here. (laughs) I know you haven't been home, you dirty stay out. She was out getting Rosie Bacala's birthday present. I know that. I know that. All right, so we're going to start with our brows. And we're going to start with our brows. And I'm going to use... Now, listen. I'm telling you, join my team, right? But listen, when I try a product and it's good, I stick with it. So here is... This is... What are you Look doing? Look at all those makeup for Native American. Folks. Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah. You need a headdress or something, though. No, that don't have a headdress. You can put a feather on it, depending. But you get a stupid doll store. Oh, that's a cool headdress. I know. I just Googled that. Look at that. Eyes. You have He's showing me looks, all so. Thanksgiving like looks, like with Indians and the headdresses and all that. Mm-hmm. Show them a good one. Like all these. Yeah, that'd be cool look. To do like for Not Thanksgiving. Now. Not now. Not like, now. Sorry, next week. Like, like yeah. next week. Hi, Frankie. Christine Bone says hello. So, like I said, whenever I find a deal, I will go out and I'll, and I'll buy it. So, I was at Walmart and I bought this. It is by Elf. Elf. Santa's Elf. See? One side, you got a spoolie. There's your spoolie. And the other side is your eyebrow pencil. Where am I? The eyebrow pencil. It comes in blonde, brunette black dark brown light brown and it was take a guess how much it was it was like franklin it was like three dollars so if i can get an eyebrow pencil for three dollars yeah yeah diane's going for it so we're gonna go and we're gonna use the eyebrow pencil elf on my eyebrows and we're gonna do an ombre eyebrow and remember, you always start on the bottom and you follow that bottom line. See the bottom line? Follow the bottom line. 
It's like follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> follow that line all the way up. Now, if you want to go even higher up, you can. This way you're getting more of an arch. But once you hit that arch peak, then you want to start coming down. Okay. Those are my hairs. That is not even the pencil. Hi, Maya. How are you? It's very odd seeing you on here, Maya, because you're usually on somebody else's live, and I don't know why you would come on my live when you don't really like me. That's a little odd, but whatever. You're more than welcome to stay. Um, so anyway, we're doing the brow, and we're working from the bottom all the way up to the top, and then we're coming around and going down. Next thing, we're going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm going to start from the bottom of the brow, work all the way up. And do the same thing with the other one. This is how we're going to do the ombre of the brow. Second part is you're going to come from midway of your brow and come up to your peak. And then you're going to just follow it down. And just touch it and color it in. Okay? Just like that. This we're not touching at all. Oh, now you know they spread false rumors and and they spread false rumors and screenshots. Now you know. But I'm not even going to get into it. Because you know what? Yeah. You know what? You're more than welcome to stay, Maya. And I don't know what your intentions are or why, if you're here out of the goodness of your heart, or you're just here to, like, think I'm going to be talking about people. But I don't. I honestly don't. Um, I am hardly ever on Facebook anymore. That's number one, because I can't stand Facebook. And um, I don't like the people on it. I don't like the drama. I don't like any of it. So, like I said, before any of this pe and any people came on... What we were talking about yesterday, and we're going to continue our conversation because we know that we we learn makeup on here, we learn up, we learn our tricks, but we also talk about certain things. And yesterday we were talking about leading or following, whether you are in an internet marketing business, okay, or you work for somebody. See what I just did? Dark, dark, and I just followed that line up. And just go across. And you got your ombre light all the way into your dark, into your darkest. Um, hey, Nareda. How are ya? So, like I said, we were talking about followers and leaders. And my thing is, everybody can go and listen to other people. Everybody's going to hear different stories. It's like telephone like we were talking about yesterday, but unless you hear it or unless you see it for yourself, that's the difference between being a leader and being a follower, okay? That's, a, that's the difference between getting involved in drama and keeping your ass out of drama, okay? So people will say things, people will, listen, the internet is crazy. It's a crazy, crazy place, girls, where people will say stuff and they will Photoshop and they will, you know, do all this stuff to make somebody look bad. And it's not even true. It's not even true. You know how many people I had messaging me and hating on me because they did believe certain things? And when I set them straight, they were like, oh, my God, really? I'm so sorry. So... It is what it is. You know, people are going to follow other people maybe because they're lonely. Maybe because they don't have anybody. It, it's, you know what, Maya? It's never ending. It's never ending. And, you know, I've had people change my voice. Change my voice, okay? Okay. And sent that voice clip around the internet. 
I had people um, send that voice clip that wasn't even me to compliance of Unique. I had people um, photoshopping my face, okay, to where I looked ugly and posting my flipping cell number, okay, posting my cell number out to men's sites. And men were calling me for sexual favors, okay? So that's what I mean by there's a difference between listening and believing with your own gut feeling. You know, everybody's got a gut, okay? Whether you believe it or not, it's all up to you. Just because somebody says it's true, don't always believe it. Don't always believe it. Rosie! Rosie Bacala's birthday is tomorrow. So, I'm putting on the color Transcendent, which is a light shade. And what that's going to do over your primer is it's going to settle all of your makeup. It's going to make all of your eyes, the um, brow bone, and your lid all one shade. It's going to hide all those little baby veins. That's right. People believe what they want to believe. Absolutely, Nareda. I couldn't have said it better, you know. But it is what it is. It is what it is. And... And that's that. <laughs> and that's that. Um, okay, let's go into... I'm debating whether to do the green. Yeah, I think I'm going to go and use the inconceivable on my crease. Hello, hello, Yuda! Okay, so going in here like so. And we're just going to start... Putting the green in our crease. Now, even if we have hooded eyes, like I do, we're going to start raising that up a little bit. First, we're going to get it nice and dark in the crease, like a windshield wiper back and forth. This is the quad palette that I designed for my November kudos. Okay. And I'm bringing it up higher and higher, as you can see. Okay. You're not a dummy, Maya. You know what? You were just, you're just, um, what's the word I want to use? I don't want to say you're gullible, which I don't want to use that word because I, I don't think you're gullible. I think that you're easily swayed. And I'm not trying to get you mad by that. I'm just saying that I think that you were easily swayed because... You know what? When you got a group of grown women and they're all saying the same thing and they're all bad mouthing the same person, um, it's got to be real, right? It's got to be real. But you got to remember, where did it stem from? It stemmed from one person originally. One person started it. And then all the drama queens that come on, you know, they just start believing it. And before you know it, you got a whole bunch of haters with nothing better to do. And they just, you know, they just make it miserable for everybody because you want to come on and you want to enjoy makeup. You don't want to hear about all these, this, this stuff going on. You want to learn makeup. You want to, you want to smile. You want to be happy. You want to cheer on your other teammates, your other wise sisters. Um, did I at one point go back at them? Absolutely. But you know what? I had to defend myself at one point because I had just about had it, you know, and everybody, you know, 
they can't say that I was wrong for doing that. I had stayed quiet for a very long time. You know, I shed enough tears over that. So, that's right. We all screw up. Absolutely. So, now I'm going in with Agile, and I'm going just in my crease, right below that gorgeous green. All right, just below the gorgeous green, inconceivable. Okay. And I'll, I'm going to tell you, I lost a lot, a lot of really good friends that I thought were friends of mine, I should say. I, a lot of people that I thought were really good friends of mine. But you never know. And you know what? The internet, the internet is the internet. And that's what I learned the hard way. You know, people that you've never met on here on the internet... You know, that you think of your friends and you're like, oh, I love you and oh, have a great night and I miss you and lovey, lovey, love, lovey, lovey, love. Listen, nobody loves nobody on here, okay? Nobody loves nobody unless you've known them, unless they have stood beside you, you know, unless they went through the storm with you and now you are the storm, okay? Then you can call them your friends. Then you can say I love you, okay? Other than that, if you don't know the person, there ain't no love there. I know Carol from high school, so yes, I love you, Carol. <laughs> She's such a dummy. She's such a dumb dumb. But I do, I love Carol. I know her from high school, and listen, Carol will be the first one to say she was on. She got swayed, but you know what? We all did. We all did in one sense or another. And you know what? You can't hold grudges, especially with best friends. You know, at one point you got to say, "Listen, enough is enough already. Enough is enough already." And nobody will split myself, Rosie Bacala, Jessa Jumps, all of those people that stood by me. The, nobody will ever, ever take us and try to split us because we are way too strong together. So I'm going back in with the inconceivable on top because I want this green to really show. I want this green to really, really show. And then we're just going to go in here a little bit. And we're going to just darken up right here. Where I would normally put the black. Right? Where I would normally put the black, I'm putting the Agile in here. And we're just going to kind of like come up a little bit on each side. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Stuck together. How's that go? Me and you together are stuck like glue. <laughs> yep, one person starts it off. That's it. That's all it takes. One person. But you know what? I wish them nothing but the best. Let them go and make a million dollars. You know what? Because... I don't have to deal with them. They're in another company now. I hope they make a lot of money. And that's it. I don't talk nothing about them. I concentrate on my own business, my own girls. And that's it. So this is the top and how we're sticking it. Gorilla Glue. <laughs> That's right, Narada. Gorilla Glue. And Narada, your brows came out banging. They were slamming today. I got to tell you. The one. I saw the one done. The other one wasn't done yet. But it looked really, really, really good. I got to tell you. You learned a lot on makeup training night with the brow. You did. You learned a lot with the makeup training. 
Boop. I'm just darkening my brows a little. I think they need just a little bit more darkening. You and me, baby, we're stuck like glue. Okay, now it's time to clean up underneath these brows, this hot mess. Finally, I have a pickup. What do you mean a pickup? <laughs> what? What does that even mean? What does that even mean, my lovey? For anybody that's just hopping on, I would greatly appreciate you sharing and following. Um, hit the bell, subscribe to my channel. Uh, that would be just awesome. I would love for you to subscribe. I'm like, bowls? Like bowels? What do you mean bowels? <laughs> now you got brows. Yes, that's what you could say. Now you got brows. Not bowls and not bowels. Now you got brows. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let me go and fix this. Holy crud. Let me, um, we didn't even do our foundation yet. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to clean up underneath. You're not sharing your blanket, Rosie. How dare you? That's not very nice. That's not nice, Rosie. I'm just going to clean up under here a little bit before we move on. Okay, just going to clean up a little bit, and then we'll do our... We still got to do our foundation, but I want to do my brows, clean them up a little bit. Clean them up a little bit. Okay. Just clean it up a little before I can move on. All right, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take some brown eyeliner and we're gonna do our waterline with the brown. We're gonna do the upper and the lower waterline. So we're gonna put it in the corner, we're gonna close our eye and we're just gonna go back and forth. This way we don't poke ourselves and we can do our upper and lowers at the same time. Okay, just like that. And we'll do the other one. First I'll do the bottom. And remember you don't want to pull down, you want to push in just to expose your waterline. Okay. Um, you, yes, there is a way to share it. I just don't remember how to share it. Jesse, how do you share it? She usually shares it onto my EBT by Diane page. Okay, so I just did my upper and my lower waterline. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dark brown and I'm going to do below my waterline and make it kind of like a smoky, a smoky look. Look how dark that is, okay? We're going to do the other side. Nice and thick. And it's going to look like black, but it is brown. Trust me when I tell you. You're going to see every crinkle and wrinkle that I have, but that's okay. But that's all right. Hey, Kristen Napolitano, you rang my bell. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing and ringing the bell. 
You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. <laughs> okay, this is the new one. This is the new one. Watch. I fell in love with this today. I did, I did. I fell in love with it. And we're gonna just really smoke out this eye. I'm gonna grab one of my brushes and we're just gonna push this black in a little bit. We don't want it standing out there, so we just wanna push it in a little. See how I'm pushing it? Okay, same thing with the other eye. Good evening, Rhonda, how are you? Fall back. Oh, fall back tonight, Rhonda. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I thought it was tomorrow. I thought it was tomorrow, girl. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know because I would have did it tomorrow. We're going with the Agile and we're going underneath the eye. Making it really smoky. Look how smoky that is. Holy crud. Pushing it in. Pushing it in. Bow, wow, wow. Yippee, yo, yippee, yay. I don't know why. Frankie gave me that song in my head and I cannot stop. Oh, it's actually midnight tonight then, right? So it is tomorrow, but I'll do it tonight. I think our... I think our cell phones do it automatically, don't they? I think our cell phones do it automatically. I hope so, because that's the only clock I look at. That's the only clock I look at is my cell phone <laughs> for the time. Hey, Katie, how are you, lovey? How are you, babe? All my girls on my team are coming in to say hello, which I appreciate. I hope you're all doing well on your lives as well. I hope you're all doing good on your lives. You haven't stopped. All right, let us go and can you still see the green? Not really, I'm gonna go in a little bit more with the green. I wanna come in here with the green. Yeah, there, baby. There you go, baby. In there with the green. And then we're going to go in with the lightest color, which is, I forgot the name of it. Gosh dang it, why can't I remember the name of it? Um. Now I got to look. Timid, 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 timid. Timid, timid, timid. Timid. And I'm going to grab a very little tiny brush. And I'm just going to add some timid right here. And all that's going to do is it's going to lighten up my eyelid. And it's going to make your eyes appear bigger. Because right now my eyes are very dark, right? They look, ah. She looks like she should be on Halloween still. So we got to start brightening up these eyes a little bit. Yes, the new deals are incredible. The anniversary palette, the anniversary edition epic, the anniversary edition um, makeup bag. I'm just loving it. I am, I am. So I'm going to go in here at my green and blend it a little bit into that light color. And then in here again, inconceivable in here. And then I'm gonna take the Agile and just work it out here a little. 
So this way we still got the lightness, but I don't want the lightness going above and beyond the crease. Okay, so we're going to take the Agile and do it over here. Jumps! Jumpy jumps! <laughs> How many thumbs up we got in this room? How many thumbs up do we got in the room? How many thumbs up? Yes. We are changing the clocks tonight. So that means we are gaining um, an hour, right? Doesn't that mean we're gaining an hour? You munchies. Listen, me and Frankie just went to this place. Oh, so like I was saying, we went to this place and it was called Carborough. And... Oh my God, we ate at this place. I'm gonna be like a fat cow soon. I'm gonna be, just like everybody calls our team, I'm gonna be a moo moo cow. I will be a moo moo cow. So I'm going with a brown liner on top, all right? I love the felt tip. I love, love, love the felt tip because you have control over whether or not you want it to be thick or thin. And then when you want to go and you want to wing it out a little bit, it's very easy to do your wing. So even though you're not going to really see a wing, I'll show you. I'll follow it out here. And then bring it in. Okay, so there's my wing. Same thing with this one. We're just going to follow it out. And then we're going to bring it in and thicken it till we bring it all the way in. Color that in. Okay, see how we did it a little thicker on each side? That's a little thicker, that's a little thicker. Now, if they don't match, I'm gonna give you a little trick of the trick, and this is what I do. I would never do this with a client, but this is what I do. I take a really tiny, tiny brush, stick it in my mouth, and I follow that line straight up that we're cleaning, and that will fix your wing perfectly. Take it, it's wet, your saliva, and just bring it up towards that wine that you're cleaning up and look at the wing. It came right up and went right up towards my brow. Simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, super easy way to fix a wing. If you don't know and, you, and they're not even, now they're even. Now they even, Steven, even, even. Now they're even, Steven. Next thing is we're gonna clean up underneath our brow. We're gonna take a little bit of our concealer, clean up our brow area. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer that I got left in this one, right there on top of my hand, if you could see it. There you go. A little teeny pea size will do ya. You're gonna get your I thought I had it right in front of me. It says, leave it close by so when you go on live later, you don't got to go digging for it. The Brow Artist Brush, and this is what I'm using right here. This is the angled part you use for your brows. And then around the other side, this is the straight, very thin, straight part. And that's what I'm going to be using to dip in here. Little teeny dip will do you. 
and you're gonna just go and follow your brow line okay dip it and stick it and what this is gonna do is this is gonna number one lighten up your eyeshadow give you the lightness that you need above your brow underneath your brow bone it's going to take about five years off of your lifespan, off the way that your face looks. Because if you don't do your brows, you're adding five years to your life. And look, it doesn't have to be perfect, girls. Look, mine's not perfect at all right now. <laughs> at all. But Diane, look up. What's that, Carol? Look up. Okay, Carol, hold on. She's a fan in the neck. Something special 30 days from today. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Don't know, don't care. I don't really care at all. Don't really care. And you better shut your mouth, sister. My Carol better just keep her little ass mouth quiet. She just better. And then we're gonna go around in here and clean the top. Now you can use the side like I'm doing, or if you feel more comfortable, you can turn it this way. Okay. And you wanna make sure that right here is the most important spot to do right there because you want this to come down to a point who's a fibber I'm saying everything twice Jessica shut up Rosie shut up Oh, when I get a hold of you girls, when I get a hold of you girls, man, you ain't gonna like me very much. I'm putting some concealer because I got some left where I need it, right? Where you have a little bit of maybe some brown patches because you're gonna go and put the foundation on next. I got kind of like a red shin today, so we'll do that. We'll do over here. We'll do up here because we always get red up here. We'll do a happy little tree. Happy little tree. Okay, clean that off. Now it's easy peasy lemon squeezy because now you're just going to use whatever foundation you want to use. And I think we're going to go with the darker foundation. I think we're going to go with our loose powder foundation. What about that? We haven't used that in a long time. Haven't used that in a long time. I think we're going to go with the color Voil. Or Voila. However you want to say it. We're going to grab ourselves a nice fluffy brush. And we are going to go and use that all over our face. And we're going to start darkening and concealing and doing our face. I'm going to do half my face first so you could see. You could see the difference. And I always go like this and I just clean up over here by my brow. The inside of my brow was still not done with. Carol's going to protect me from who? Oh, from, oh. You're supposed to be my best friend. You, you're going to go and protect them. What's up with that? That's not very nice, Carol. That's not very nice. Okay, so see? Not a lot, but a little color. A little color. And you just want to make sure that you're going around in circles and you're covering your whole face with it. 
get around your hairline. Don't forget your chin. Don't forget underneath your neck. You know what I love? Carol, you know what I love? Bacala, you know what I love? I love it. I love, what do you call it? What do you call it? Help me, help me, help me. What do you call it like? Oh, I gotta think of the word. I gotta think of the word. Oh, the preacher? Oh, I could be going to hell for that one. No. He, he knew why I was upset. I sent Rosie a, a gift box, and she never got it. And the tracking said it was supposed to get delivered on the 26th. She didn't get hers. Jesse got hers. And I called Rosie, and I said, listen, did you get your box yet, girlfriend? And she's like, no, just go to the post office and get your insurance back. I'm like, are you kidding me? I am not doing that. I'm going to find that box. She, and Rosie's like, it's gone. It's just gone. She's such a pessimist. She sees the glass half empty. Listen, I don't see the glass half full. I see that it is a refillable glass that once it goes down low, you can refill it back up with happiness with joy, with positivity, okay? So I don't believe it being half full, half empty. It is always refillable. So, but Rosie, man, she was so, there was like this much water left in the jaw, in the glass, that much, that much. She had like no hope that she would ever get this, no hope. So I said, Rosie, what's the name of the church? Because she, Jean, her boyfriend, found out that it was delivered to a church 17 miles away from a house, girls, okay? 17 miles away. It wasn't even close, like not next door, not down the block, nothing like that. It was delivered 17 miles away from Rosie's house. So Rosie's getting all nervous and panicking, and I know Rosie like a book now, man. I know her. So I had to get a little firm with Rosie, and I said, Rosie, give me the church's number. Well, you don't have to really call. It's okay. You could just go and get the insurance or go to your post office tomorrow and talk to them. Rosie, give me the flipping number, Rosie. Finally, she's, she gave in because she knew I wasn't going to stop asking her. So she finally gave in, and I call up the church. So now I'm a little perturbed because Rosie's telling me that the post office said that it was hand-delivered to somebody at the church. Isn't that kind of odd that it was handed to another Rosie Bacala Russo? Because I always put Rosie Bacala on every package I send off. Okay, that's her last name for me. Rosie Bacala Russo. So, <laughs> the guy answers, very nice man. Very nice man. I'm like, hello? He's like, oh, hello, can I help you? I'm like, listen, my mother... Her birthday is coming up. I sent her a birthday package. It's It was delivered to your church, and it was handed out to somebody else. So you better let me know where my mother's gift is. Where is her box? Because it was delivered, and I got proof. I got tracking. I got my father-in-law telling me that he knows exactly it was handed to the church. So I was a little up there. I was a little up there. So now you could tell his voice started going like this. Started getting a little nervous, the man. And I'm like, listen. He's like, I really don't know what to tell you, ma'am. And I said, well, guess what? If you don't know what to tell me, you better put somebody on the phone that does know what's going on and knows what to tell me. I said, because I'm not getting off the phone until you tell me where my mother's package is. <laughs> Oh, yes, I did. So I could hear his wife in the background. Now this is where it starts getting weird because I said, okay, 
if it was delivered to the church, wouldn't you know where it was? He goes, well, we don't have them. This is, you know, his southern twang. Well, we don't have a mailbox here at the church, ma'am. They just bring it right on in and they give it to us. They hand it to us. I'm like, well, first of all, it said that it was put into a mailbox. Okay? Then somebody's saying it was handed to somebody else. So what's the story, minister man, minister man, preacher man, son of a preacher man? <laughs> He's like, well, we got a package. He goes, and the package is, I mean, we got a, a, a mailbox, but it's not our mailbox. It belongs to a wrecking company across the street. And it's directly across the street from the church. So maybe the box went in their mailbox by mistake instead of coming to us, which was still a mistake because it was 17 miles away from the original address that it was supposed to go to. Long story short, he goes, I'll call you back, ma'am. I'm going to go over there right now. I'm going to go over there and talk to those, those wrecking people right now. I'm like, okay, you got my number. You got my number. You better call me back very soon because I have this much patience left. My mother needs a package. It's not something that I can go and get insurance back on because it's a momentum. Okay? And when you get a momentum or something near and dear to your heart that you sent to somebody, no money in the world is going to replace that little momentum. So he's like, I promise, I'll call you back. What's your name? Diane! <laughs> so, he didn't lie. He didn't lie. He was actually honest, which I had to apologize at the end, at the end. Long story short, the man across the street at the wrecking company had it in his truck. It got delivered. It wasn't for anybody in the wrecking company. So he just takes the package and just like nonchalantly chucks it in his truck and just leaves it there for the last six days. So I said, uh, so the guy across the street has the package. Oh no, ma'am. I got the package right here with me. I'm like, so you have the package now. Right now, you, you found the package. You got the package. Yes, ma'am. I'm like, okay, so they can come and pick up the package right now, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to be here all night. Me and the missus, we're going to be. We live here. We live behind the church. And here's the address. And they can come and pick it up anytime they want tonight. I'm like, okay. So... Yeah, the trucking guy flipped and stole it, right? The wrecking, the wrecking company or whatever it was. What was it? Like a, a wrecking company, like a, a, a impound place or something? I don't know. Those the visions I had of a man with this big old beard in the south, <laughs> with these overalls on and a white wife beater T-shirt with his big fat arms, just chucking it in the flipping truck. That's all I had to envision, and I was on. I was on like Donkey Kong on this man. More so on the preacher than I was on the guy on the across the street because I didn't get to talk to him. So, Rosie, he wound up. I must have really put the fear of God in him. <laughs> and he delivered it to Rosie, seven, 17 miles away. So, it turns out that I guess it was a substitute post office man a substitute post office man but how do you mess up like an address how do you mess up 7425 and 7968 how do you mix that up so he should really be fired so I'm thinking of calling the post office on my day <laughs> I'm thinking of calling the post office on Monday and saying, listen, you had my heart going out of my chest. I was having, you know, anxiety attacks galore. My poor mother was in tears. She was crying her eyes out because she thought that the gift was lost. So that man should be fired. That's what I think. And we'll see what he says. The postmaster. The postmaster. Yeah, we'll see what he says, all right.
We'll see what he says. For a week he had it sitting in his freaking truck, this guy. For a week. I'm telling you. Some people in this world, they don't give a hoot. They don't give a hoot. They don't. I'm going to go and plump my lips while you guys can laugh it off and talk about it. And then we're going to go and make our lips even bigger. We're going to go and put the eye primer on right now while we're plump plumping. And uh, while we plump, I want you to make sure that you go on Facebook. You tell everybody to head over to here. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Ring the bell. Okay. I did apologize to the minister, though. I did. Rosie will tell you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't want to plump them too long because I want you to see how to plump your lips without using a lip plumper, okay? I want you to see how it can be done. Yeah, it was funny. It was funny, I have to say. It was funny. And it wasn't as bad as, you know, I'm exaggerating a little bit. I wasn't that mean to the to the minister. I mean, come on. But he was a little nervous. And he told Rosie, he goes, where is she from? <laughs> Probably because of my accent, my New York accent. He was like, where is she from anyway? Right, Rosie? Anybody want to unsubscribe and then resubscribe to see the zombie go across the screen again? I didn't see no zombie. Where is there's a zombie? <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So, we're going to go and we're going to make our lips a little bit more plumper. A little bit more plumper. And you can use, look, I can use that brow. The Elf Brow Palette. I can use a brown eyeshadow lip liner palette. Whatever you want to use, that's up to you. I'm going to use the Elf Brow Palette and see how it looks. And my bottom lip, I just left right along the waterline, right along the, the line of my lip. The upper part is the part that I'm going to go and plump up a little bit. So I want you to see, thank you for subscribing, Jumps. Oh, really? 
You rang the bell again? Thank you. So see where my lip ends? That's where my lip is going to start now. So we're going to make them really, really nice and plump. Okay. So that's how much plumper my lips are. I'm just going to darken it up just a little so you can really see. We can always lighten it up. I just want to show you how much more plump they look, right? Now, I can use this, which I just got, I love it, to smooth this out. Okay, so I just smoothed it out a little bit you don't want to be on my poopy list that's right don't want to be on my poopy list so I showed you all today what colors are the natural colors the more natural nudish colors um, I showed you on my hands so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to pick a color. I usually use Sublime, but we got a color here. This is very, very light. This is, I'm going to try it. I think it's going to be too light though. It's called Sparkling and it's a very, very light color. Let me just see. Yeah, that's a little too light, I think. So I'm not even going to use this one. I was gonna, I was gonna, but it's a little too light. I would have had to not go so dark on my lips. So we'll go in with, we'll go in with um, successful because that's the one that we were talking about today on my Instagram. If you don't know my Instagram, it is Diane's Makeup Therapy. That's the name of my Instagram channel. Now we got a Jessica Pedrotti on here. Who's Jessica Pedrotti? You're killing me, Jess. You're killing me, girl. Okay, we're going to go in with Successful. We're going to use our lip brush because it's going to make your lipstick last so much longer. It's going to double the life of your lipstick no matter which lipstick you use, okay? So this goes a little bit better with the colors that I'm using for a fall, for a fall color. Now remember, we go up here, and we go up here. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. If nobody gets that, we were doing that the other night. Whenever we get trolls coming on the page, what do we do? Fa la 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 la. 
Oh my God, Carol's not fallen dead asleep yet. I can't believe you're still here. I can't believe you're still here, my my B F F F F F F. My B F F F F F F F F. Yeah, when is my twenty fifth birthday? Um, it's like when is my God, my birthday. I don't even want to think about it. It's coming way too soon, girls. Way too soon. And it's all flipping. That one's fault. My BFF's fault. For even mentioning it. Well, guess whose birthday's coming up before then? Do you even know? Carol? Do you even know? Hi, Gail! Ba la 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 Fa la 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 Fa la 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 No 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 Jessica Whose is coming up like very very soon? I'm starting at the base and I'm working my way up. Frank, can you lower that, please? I know, isn't that loud? No, after Rosie. Frankie's birthday is November 12th. November 12th. Nobody knew that? Nobody knew that? <gasps> Rosie will be 25. I'll be 35 backwards or 45 backwards. Flip it. Just flip it. Let's just flip it. Mike's November 15th, Frankie's the 20, Frank, Frankie's the 12th. Holy crap. Carol, when is yours again? I forgot when yours is. Carol? How could I forget? You'll be 16 in February. <laughs> okay, so that is the first coat of the black epic. Um, the black epic. Say it again. The black epic. <laughs> limited edition. And the colors that I have on my eyes, girls, you can also get in the kudos this month. In the kudos. I know. I don't remember. I am in trouble. I'm in trouble. I know. Listen, my brain don't work good anymore. You got to know that. You really got to know that. My brain does not work good anymore. It don't work that good. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go like this. Okay. 
Computer, you're, you're a Scorpio. I know I'm in trouble. January 5th? You're January 5th? My Carol's January 5th. Well, Carol, I think I convinced Frankie. I think I convinced him. I mean, I know you're going like to Mike's family, but I think we're coming down there. He's got 10 days vacation if he gets it approved. So if he gets it approved, we'll be down there for 10 days. I know you're all excited. I know you are. No, she's not. She could care. She could care less. All right, we're going to go in with that beachfront bronzer. Huh? Almost a New Year's Eve, baby. Let's contour. Let's contour. I'm contouring with the beach the, with the beachfront bronzer tonight, not with the brown. So it's going to be a little bit lighter than normal. You're going to say it's going to be a little bit lighter than it normally is because it's not as dark as the color that I use. And then I'm just going to go around my whole face with the beach front. And we're just going to make it look like we got a little bit of a tan. Down our neck because we don't want our neck to be white. Um, he's first, he just requested it, so we're not sure yet. As soon as he gets the approval, I'll let you know the dates. I'll let you know the dates. So, I will definitely let you know. I think I want some like little sprouts. I want a couple of little sprouts right here. Yeah. Let's get some sprouts. That'll shorten. I shorten it a little. I like seeing like little sprouts of hair there for some reason. I don't know why. And then I just kind of like brush in a couple of hairs. Brush in a couple so you can see like hair. And then right here, we just bring it down a little darker. Now, always remember that you have to measure your brows. Make sure that they are even, Steven. If not, you're going to look ridiculous. So you're going to follow the middle part of your nostril. Hold it straight up and down. That is where, where your brow should start, okay? I'm pretty much dead on. Where your arch is going to be, where your arch is going to start, middle of your nose, middle of your eye, that's where your arch should start coming down, which is right about there, so that's good. And then where your brow should end, corner of your nose, corner of your eye, and right about there, am I on? Yep, pretty much dead on. Same thing with your other one, middle of your nostril, straight up and down. Now, I'm a little short on that, you can see. A little teeny bit, so I'm going to add some right there. Middle. That's where the arch is. I'm good there. The corner of the nose, corner of the eye, and I am good right there. So we're going to go and we're going to add a little bit of the brow. Add a little bit of the brow. And we're just going to bring it in a little bit more. Night, Maya. Oh, God bless you too, girl. Bless you too, Maya. You're always welcome. He 
be what up is welcome. My room is a room where anybody's welcome. So now I'm just gonna get my spoolie. We're gonna fix this up. Where'd my spoolie go? I'll use the elf spoolie. Oh, that's the wrong side. <laughs> so silly. Okay, right here. So we're just gonna go like this and clean it up. Clean up that sucker. Clean up that sucker right there. Okay. Same thing over here. We're gonna clean this one up, try to straighten it up a little bit more. It's a little crooked. Pull it over. And it's funny because one of my brows is definitely higher than the other. I don't know why that is, but it, they've always been like that. Look at my brow. If I go like this, this brow is definitely lower than this one. So the next time when I go, I'm going to have to tell them to take off more up here and leave this side alone. Because it kind of looks funky donkey, don't it? Kind of looks a little funky. You got a screenshot of Yuda? La 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 la. Yuda's still sitting there singing. She's singing away over there. All right, let's get our blush on. My favorite color, of course, is the color Supple. It is the orange, the peach. And we're just going to pat it in a little. You're supposed to remember, look like you're blushing. You're not supposed to make yourself look like a clown. All right? Then we're going to go and put that back up there. And we're going to grab our... Translucent setting powder. Let me grab some coffee. I'll tell you something right now. I don't like Facebook because I feel like I should be the other way. Don't you think that it's like weird this way? To me, it's weird this way. I feel like I got to come really close to the camera. Hey, Marie Wolf. What's wow? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. I'm going to grab my big purple mama jama. I'm going to just sit here. I'm going to bake a little bit. Especially under the eyes. We're going to bake. Come around. And you're just going to tap it in. I don't know who Marie Wolf is. Does anybody know who Marie Wolf is? We're going to leave that on for a minute because you want it to absorb any moisture. Oh, uh, thank you, girly. Thank you, girly. And then you're just going to go and push it all off your face. And what it's going to do is it's going to settle in the areas that need it. And it's going to come off of the areas that don't. So if you're more oily in a certain spot, T-zone or anything like that, it's going to absorb a little bit more. And it's going to hold the color in of your blush. And now we just got a highlight, highlight. Let me find my highlighter. I got so many here that I got to find. My a la mode, a la mode. Oh, 
Oh, you're Nikki Wolf. Listen, there's so many, so many different people on Instagram with these weird names, right? You go on Instagram and you're trying to know who people are and you don't know because they got names like Cinderella, um, all these weird names on there and it's just like, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to use my little teeny tiny fan brush. I'm using the color Pearly, which is a beautiful pink with a little bit of gold fleck in, flex, fleck in it. Fleck, what is that? Fleck. Flex. And we're just going to go around in a circle, get it on there really, really good. We're going to come down the middle of our nose. Going to do a little extra, extra on the tip of our nose. Since we did not do any contour, I want my nose to stand out a little bit. I missed it. What did I miss? Hold on. I'll look. I'll look, Carol. Hold on. She kills me. <sighs> no, she didn't get to screenshot of me. She got a screenshot of the la 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 person. <laughs> She missed it. What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, Carol, you're killing me. A little on the Cupid's bow. A little on the chinny chin chin. We got our vanilla ice cream going on. We got our chocolate. We got our strawberry. And here's our vanilla. And like I said, you want a little extra on the tip of your nose. A little extra on the tip. Oh, Marie got screenshot of what? Of me? Why? I, hopefully not of me. Okay, next coat. It's just really going to be the tips for me because I got enough length. And I don't need them to be any thicker than they are. So I'm just going to do the tips. Use my spoolie to spread them out. And I think that's pretty long. I think that's long enough. Let's do the other one. I'm going to use my mirror on my phone. You're going to see every crinkle and wrinkle on my face. And all of this, smoking, girls, smoking. So, Jessica, you see that? It's not very pretty. Stop smoking. Don't worry, Rosie took care of it. Who is the inappropriate person? All I know, and I'm just going to put this out there, is that all of a sudden, people are coming out of the woodworks that never talk to me. That never talk to me. Now, all of a sudden, they're realizing that all these other people were just bullshit artists. Excuse my French. And now what? Now, all of a sudden, they're coming back and going, you know... I was wrong. And listen, I, I will forgive anybody. I will forgive anybody. But you know what? It makes me leery. Are you here really because of wanting to come on and watch? Or are you coming on to just like snoop, thinking that I'm going to go and say something bad about somebody? You know what I mean? Carol, what do you think about that? What do you think about that, Carol? <laughs> I mean, like when Carol first came on, she's like, uh, really? What did you say, Carol? Really? Did I miss something? That's what she said. That's what she said. Did I miss something? I wanted to say the same thing. Yeah, I, you know what? I, you know, I really, you know, 
I really hope that whoever comes on here and watches me and has the personality, that's not even the right word, whoever comes on here and watches me and has something to say that was on the other side at one point and they come on and they say hello, that they're coming on out of goodness, you know, out of knowing that whatever was told that maybe they were a follower by mistake, like Maya said. I hope that she's honest about it because I thought Maya was a really cool kid. She, you know, she's she's a young girl and, you know, I never did anything her, to, to her personally, so... Oh, there was somebody that was in here that said something? I missed it? Oh, I didn't see it. I'll, I'll see it on the replay, though. I'll see it on the replay, though. So, we got our chocolate. We got our strawberry. We got our vanilla. We got our vanilla. We got our vanilla. We got our glasses so now I could see. Hello, everybody. Now I can see everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on. Thank you. Yeah, you think so? I keep telling you to quit. You're not listening to me very well. You ain't listening to me very well. What happened? The cat got your tongue, Carol. Does the cat got your tongue? She ain't talking now. Marie, that's how I quit. That's how I quit. I started, I, New Year's Eve was my last time, was my last time smoking a cigarette, woke up on New Year's Day, was, and you know, if anybody smokes, okay, you know, if you drink coffee, that coffee and a cigarette go together, that peas and carrots, right, they go together like peas and carrots, so the first thing on New Year's morning, I wake up, I make my coffee, I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, I'm literally getting myself, like, sickened, okay, sickened, and I'm like, you know what, I gotta have one last cigarette, and I did, I had one last cigarette, and I had already bought all the vape stuff prior to New Year's, New Year's Eve, and I did have one last cigarette with my coffee on New Year's morning, and then I just vaped and vaped and vaped and vaped and vaped. And I vaped for, with the highest milligram, I vaped for, I think it was close to four months. And for the first month, that vape did not leave my hand. I was, you know, every two seconds because there's no nicotine in it. There's no nicotine. I mean, there is nicotine, but there's no, um, what is the stuff that's in cigarettes? Uh, whatever the, the other stuff is that's bad for you as well. But now I'm, I'm so glad that it, I only did it. I don't even know what you're talking about, Rosie. Shannon, I did, and I still can't say. Is that crazy? I still, I, I went back twice, twice, and I could see fall good, but close up, if I have to read something, I got to take my glasses off. So, yeah, it sucks. But, um, why am I going to kill you, Bacala? You better be nice to me, Rosie. I'll call up that, that priest again, that minister. I'll call up that minister again, and I'll say, Listen, 
She meant she her second package has not arrived yet. Really, Gail? Did you okay? Let me ask you this: Did you did you get the lung cancer prior to quitting, or you wound up November twenty seventh? You quit, and then you got the cancer. So I vaped with the for four months with I think the highest milligram was 12, 12 milligrams. And I chose all different tutti frutti, coconut, pina colada, a strawberry cheesecake, every flavor that they had. So I, I vaped for four months with the highest milligram. Then for the next three months, I went down to eight and then six and then four. And then for the last two months i think it was i went down to three milligrams and for the whole month of december i was at zero zero milligrams and by new year's eve the next year i was done i i sold the whole vape machine because i had the big monster jama battery and when that battery died i had another battery you know and i actually i actually sold it for like a hundred and something dollars and um, quit smoking, quit vaping. But I'll tell you right now, they're saying, you know, the vaping, it's causing the popcorn lungs. It's causing like a lot of issues because it's not approved by the FDA. And people are getting, you know, the cancer and all of that stuff. Where's Gail's answer? Did she answer me? November 27th was one year, no cigarettes, and then you got lung cancer? Is that what you said, Gail? Or November 27th, you got lung cancer, and you didn't smoke any more cigarettes after that? Because, you know what? I don't know. That's, that's, a, that's a hard one. Smoked 55 years, got cancer, then quit. Oh, God. God, see, I smoked for a long time too, Gail. I remember being like, I don't know, it had to be like 13 or 14, smoking out of my mother, out of the basement window. <laughs> I do have good memories, they're funny memories. I have smoking out of the bathroom window, you know, opening up the window and smoking like they, like my mother and father would never smell it, right? Now that we're, we're non-smokers, you could smell a cigarette from a mile away from somebody that smoked it. But back then, we were like, ah, no, they're not going to smell it. My mother was so mad. My father was so mad and so disappointed. You know, when you're Italian and you're coming from an Italian family, they were so disappointed in me that I decided to start smoking. Yeah, I agree, Christine. It definitely needs to it needs to stop because you know what? I can't say that though because without vaping, I probably never would have quit. Because I didn't want to quit. I mean, I did want to quit because I couldn't breathe, but Oh, now she's going to sleep. Look, now that all the fun's done, now she's going to sleep. Yeah, whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead, Carol. Go to sleep. How are you now, Gail? How are you how are you now with the cancer? Did you have to go through like the whole chemo or radiation or any of that or where where are you as far as that if you don't mind me asking And then you hear people saying stupid stuff like right it, it's the most stupidest thing you'll hear people go oh well you know what I should have just kept smoking and I never would have gotten the cancer right you hear that all the time People that quit smoking and then they wind up getting cancer like two years later or three years later. Oh, I should have never quit. I, I would have never gotten cancer. You don't know that. I love you too, Carol. 
Carol Ann. Yeah, right. You are so full of poopy. <laughs> it's Saturday night. Okay, Carol. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. It's shrinking. Thank God, Gail. Thank God. Thank God. You know what? You probably... How did you, how did you even know that you had it? How did you even know? Because you probably caught it perfectly at the right time. Because if you would have waited, God forbid, it would have been a lot worse absolutely so you just did the radiation absolutely you know what the same thing you know what they're gonna find the same thing the vaping first right that's what was bad for you and I guarantee you I don't know whether it's gonna be next month next year three years from now the hemp oil the CBD oil, I'm telling you right now, they're going to find something in the CBD oil that's not supposed to be in there. Like what? Because there's, and I'm not saying the THC, I'm just saying that you've got a million different brand companies that are making the CBD oil now. You don't know what's in that. I'm sorry, you know, I'm not going against the CBD oil companies, but I... I I just, I don't know. You got pneumonia and they thank, you know what? Thank God. Thank God you got flipping pneumonia, girlfriend. Holy moly. If you didn't get that, it would have just been metastasizing and getting bigger and bigger. So lucky. You are so blessed. I hope you know how blessed you are. I really hope you know how blessed you are. They are, it's the vitamin E oil. What, what, what's our, what's our, what's our? <laughs> what are you talking about, Margaret? The CBD oil or the vaping? Yes, and make sure you go every three months, babe. Absolutely. Absolutely. See now, Jesse, I'm glad that you feel that it helps you. My only thing is, hey, Teresa, my only thing is, is it up here or is it really helping? Because there's tons of things out there that you're like, oh my God, it's helping me, it's helping me. And I've seen so many documentaries where people were given just like um, a vitamin and they were being told that it was like, let's say CBD oil, just for, just throw it out there. That they were giving them a vitamin and saying, here, this is CBD oil. It's going to take away all of your aches and pains in your back. Take it for a month and you let me know what you think, right? So here they are taking the pill every day for 30 days. After 30 days, the guy comes back and he's like, so what do you think? And there's Jesse going, man, my back's feeling great. I could go dance again, right? Meanwhile, it's all up here because all it was was a multivitamin they were taking. I've seen so many things like on 2020 about that and on all those date lines, all that, those shows. Oh, the vitamin E and the CBD oil and the illegal THC. Yeah, well, I know a lot of them, you can go and get the one with the THC in it. I mean, we all know that. Oh, uh, any time, my gal. Absolutely. It definitely helps you quit, but you gotta, like, I knew that I was going to vape for one year. I knew it. That was my plan because I was such a heavy smoker. 
I smoked a pack and a half a day, you know, from the time I was like 15, that I knew I could not quit cold turkey. I tried taking those antidepressants, the, um, I forgot what they call it, that's supposed to help you quit. I tried, I tried that other stuff, those, those pills, um, the patch. I tried everything and nothing worked. But you've got to have a plan because you know what? If you don't have a plan, you're just going to keep vaping. You're just going to keep vaping. So I knew that it was going to be a year. And I had it planned. Four months, then three months, then two mm -hmm. months, like that. And just lower my milligram. And it wasn't easy, even after the year, to not vape. Because then you start getting used to the vape part of it. So the first couple of months, January and February, were probably the toughest. But I didn't crave the nicotine anymore. It was just having that thing in my hand. Right. I'm doing good, Teresa. I'm okay. I'm all right. Um, doing as good as I can be right now. God has blessed me, and I'm doing good. And, um, yeah, I'm doing good. So far, so good. So, anyway, girls, I want to let you know one last time, if you're interested in the kudos this month, my goal is to sell 100. Okay? I've sold four. Four since yesterday. So, if you want to be my number five and help me out, buy a kudos. Because, like I said, I made my own fall palettes. This was the palette we used today. Okay, these were the fit, these were the fall colors I used on my eyes today. We used Inconceivable, which was the green, then Agile above that, Transcendent, and then Nimble. This was the color palette that I used today on my eyes for my fall colors. Yesterday, I used, I made up a palette and these were the palettes that I used yesterday. I used Jealous on the top, Fervent. <sighs> Why do I always have a hard time thinking of that color? Um, I'll think of it. Oh, Laid Back and Gingerly. This was my fall, my fall palette from yesterday that I designed by myself. And this was the one that I designed tonight. So if you don't want to go with fall colors, you don't have to go with fall colors. You can go with pinks and purples and blues, but you're getting an anniversary edition quad palette, which runs $52. And then you're getting the anniversary edition epic mascara, the regular epic. And that is what I got on my eyes right now. I prefer the regular epic over the 4D. I don't like the thick, thick clumpiness of a 4D. That's just me. I like it when it's brand new, but after a while, I'm not a big fan of it. You know what, Marie? You'll know when you're ready to let it go. You'll know, you'll know when you're ready. You'll know. Just like I did. You know, set a plan in place and you'll do it. So the quad palette's 52, the eye, the mascara is 24. You're getting a gorgeous purple makeup bag to go with it, which is absolutely free, and you're saving 20%. It is $69 for the kudos. If you want to help me out, my website is enhancedbeautytherapy.com. Everybody knows it. If somebody could type it up there for me, I'll try to type it, but it wasn't working today for me. For some reason, it wasn't working. We will try E, N, and it should come back, and it should go there. And I click send, and it's not there, right? It's not there. See, it won't, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. Nobody sees it, right? Jesse, if you can just type in www.enhancedbeautytherapy.com. How you doing, Teresa? How you doing, Teresa? How is my Teresa girl doing? Look at my hair. Look at this mop of a head. This is a mop. And I'm going to take selfies with this mop. Look at that. 
I gotta say, I like the way my brows came out and I love the green. Love the green. Hello? Did I like stop everybody's messages from happening right now? Probably. Because I was, I'm being an idiot and I'm messing with this right now. Because I can't see anybody's comments right now. Why? Why? Jesse, can you type in my website? I can't see anybody's comments right now, so. Can somebody, can you still hear me? Give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. I, I messed it up. I knew I messed it up. But I did pin my website above, I think. So if anybody wants to help me out and get in on the kudos, um, enhancedbeautytherapy.com. It should be in the, in the, in the section where I write stuff. <laughs> And um, I'd love you forever if you would subscribe, thumbs up my page, subscribe to my channel right here, like my page, put a comment, tell everybody you love me, you hate me, whatever. And I will see you, I'm going to post my pictures, well, I'll post my pictures on Instagram, then I usually get in touch with Jessica, and she posts the pictures on my EBT page, so... Um, yeah, I don't see any of the comments. Sorry, I must have did something. I always do it. I always do it. So I will be um, seeing you guys. Have a blessed night. Have a blessed night. Um, sleep with angels. Make sure, make sure you wake up with a purpose in life tomorrow. Be kind. Um, don't believe all the hype. Don't believe all the lies. Don't believe all the hype. The hype is a sequel. Don't believe the hype. Don't be a follower. Be a leader. How about that? Unless you heard it and you know it for a fact. Then say something to the person. Ask the person. Don't just be a hater. Don't just be a hater. Don't be a stinker. All right? <laughs> All right, girls, God bless. I will see you. I'll post my pictures on Instagram in about two and two. And then Jess will post them on my EBT by Diane page. Make sure you say hello, comment, hashtag replay it. Um, if you can share this video over to my EBT page, I would love it. Thank you. God bless and have a good night.